other thing I'll throw out there just because I just thought of this as you were speaking was uh, the ability to take critique. Yeah. That's a harder one to do when you're by yourself. Oh, right? that's you're real gonna hard. Have to well, go. even when they're in their teams, they're struggling with sure, that. Sure. I think <laughs> I think with more experience gives you more, what I'm going to call at-bats. is going to give you more at-bats and opportunities to take critique. Yeah. And if you're not collaborating with anyone, who's giving the critique, right? Yeah. And so a boot camp will give you a few at-bats, but you need a lot of at-bats because critiques uh, take work as well. Mm-hmm. Not only receiving, but giving. I mean, there's there's a lot that goes into it, and that's, that's a right. huge part of what we do on a full-time basis is living in the critique world, getting yeah. critique from stakeholders, getting critique from developers and users, and you know, all that is critique. And well, and helping the student it. understand it's not personal. Exactly. And that takes, that takes time. Yep. Um, if they get thrown their first times, they get thrown into some of these critiques. I mean, it's, it's hard Yep. because they're like, Oh no, I don't want to say anything that's going to hurt their feelings. I'm like, guys, it's not personal. Yep. It's professional. Give them, give them your feedback. And sometimes I see designers get so passionate about what they've been working on. They've grown so close to it yeah. that even something that wasn't aggressively pointed at them, it's just like, Oh, you're calling my baby ugly. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> it, it's hard to, it's hard to separate yourself. It is. Uh, I'm only nine years into my career, and sometimes I still feel that way about different projects that I'm passionate about. Yeah. Uh, so it's not an overnight fix, but being aware and knowing how to address it is, I think, important there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>